On the wings, there are leading edge slats and trailing edge flaps, which together form the high lift system. When the aircraft requires additional lift, both the slats and flaps extend outward from the wing with a downward curve. This process not only dramatically alters the shape of the wing, but also increases the surface area exposed to airflow. As a result, the wing can achieve a steeper angle of attack, which is especially useful during takeoff or landing. Additionally, this change in wing shape helps reduce the risk of a stall. When the wing's angle of attack becomes too steep, airflow may separate from the wing surface, causing a loss of lift and leading to a stall. However, with the slats and flaps extended and curved, the airflow remains attached, enhancing the aircraft's aerodynamic stability and efficiency. In other words, slats and flaps work together to ensure the aircraft remains stable and safe during critical flight phases, such as takeoff and landing. Their role in maintaining airflow and increasing lift makes them vital components in modern wing design. The curved slats are supported by a geared mechanism, driven by a shaft connected back to the slat power drive unit. For the flaps, a rolling flap carriage mechanism extends them outward, driven by the flap actuator arms. Meanwhile, the supporting flap track beams lower to adjust the flap's position. Additionally, at the rear of the wing, there is a row of multifunctional spoilers that assist the ailerons in controlling the aircraft's roll. Near the fuselage, specific spoilers operate in sync to create a lift dumping effect. This effect generates downforce during landing, helping the aircraft stick to the runway, slow down, and increase weight on the wheels for braking. Furthermore, along the wingtip and winglet, there are static dischargers. These are flexible metal rods designed to dissipate static electricity that accumulates due to friction as the aircraft moves through the air.